Today, we are sending an awesome 6 Kerbal VTOL space plane to Duna and back. And while landing, we got hit by a massive sandstorm, which looked absolutely awesome. But first, we need to get the space plane from Kerbin to Duna, which we did with this rocket right here. This 58 meter high monster has 9 mastodons on the first stage, which will carry it up most of the way into orbit. Then we have a second stage with 4 Rhino engines, which will be partially used for Duna transfer, and then there is the third stage, powered by one Rhino, which would do everything between Kerbin and Duna. Then we have the lander itself, which is this awesome space plane, powered by one nuclear engine for in-space activities, and two rotating airspike engines for landing and liftoff. The full stack totals 8900 meters per second of delta V, and weighs almost 700 metric tons. Now let's head on over to the launch pad and see this beast in action. The six Kerbals on top of this rocket are headed towards Duna. Nine Mastodons powering them into space with a thrust to weight ratio of at least 1.8 and those engines will be at the end of their turn pretty quickly here as we have stage one separation and we light the Rhinos on the second stage. And as our Kerbals are looking back down onto Kerbin, their rocket is only going up. Now right now these Rhino engines will also shut off but not for the last time, because when we reach Apogee, which is at around 200 kilometers, we ignite them again for a second time out of three. And when that burn is done, we are in Kerbin orbit. Just look at that view. It's absolutely beautiful. And the Kerbals get to admire it for a whole 40 minutes before they have to prepare for their Duna transfer burn. And as the vehicle is oriented in the right way, they have engine ignition with the four Rhino engines at maximum thrust to get on a trajectory towards Duna. There we have second stage separation, with the single remaining Rhino engine doing the last 600 meters per second, and in just a few seconds, we will have engine shut down, and we are on our way to Duna. And as they leave their home behind, they have a beautiful view of Kerbin getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And 300 days later, as they flow through interplanetary space, they'll look outside their window and see a little orange dot doing the exact opposite. Alright, we are in orbit around Duna. I actually saw Ike eclipsing the sun slash Kerbal, but then I realized that this is KSP and that happens like every week. But still, it looks pretty cool. And also with these volumetric clouds by Blackrack, you can see some awesome sandstorms on the ground. Now we will try to avoid those, but the chance of getting hit by one is still pretty big, so no guarantees to the occupants. Well anyways, I've wasted enough of your time. Let's see how this space plane will land on Duna. And that is that. We are, considering the sandstorm we find ourselves in, relatively safe on Duna. So let's get settled and wait until the storm is over to get out of the space plane and do the EVA. So there Jebediah goes, out into the red wastelands of Duna. He is obviously not the only Kerbal on this mission, as we have brought Valentina and Bob with us too, as well as Black Sun, Sloppy and Castle Kerman, who are all from my Discord server. If you want to come on my KSP missions too, all you have to do is join the Discord server in the description and subscribe to the channel as my goal is to reach 2000 subscribers before the end of the year. Well anyways, Jeb has planted the flag and we are having one last look at this beautiful planet. You can see all these huge rocks on the ground which are created by the mod Parallax, which I can definitely recommend. 
but under every video I get tons of questions on what mods I'm using, even though I always leave them in my Discord server. So I probably just need to make a short or something like that to settle that once and for all. Well either way, we are boarding the space plane once again, and soon we shall return. And after more than a year on the surface of Duna, the transfer window has arrived and we are ready to come back home. So there we go, we have engine ignition, all three of our engines are firing, and now our wheels have left the ground, and we are on our way to Kerbin. We are closely followed by a giant sandstorm behind us, but luckily we can outrun it without breaking a sweat. And after a few minutes, as our apoapsis reaches 200 kilometers, we cut off the engines and coast towards our orbital insertion burn, where we will only use the central nuclear engine to circularize. So, we are back in orbit, and now it is time to come back home. And as we are now entering the final stages of this mission, we have done our Kerbin error capture and we are now en route to the Kerbal Space Center where we will land horizontally on the runway. As we now enter the atmosphere for one last time, the space plane is being completely engulfed in plasma, compressing the air while flying at thousands of meters per second. Now I did kind of lose control in the final parts of re-entry, so the space plane pulled close to 30 G's while doing all sorts of flips, but eventually I corrected it and we could see the Kerbal Space Center getting closer and closer. There we extend the landing gear in preparation for touchdown, and while approaching the runway we could see an awesome thunderstorm in the distance. So we are now getting very close to the runway, as we have touchdown! There we go, a very smooth landing on Kerbin, ending a, for the most part, very smooth mission. And we are now getting to a standstill, and that was my VTOL space plane to Duna and back. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!